What's good, Canucks fans? Finally, it's Canucks game day for the second time only in 2022, and they kick off their five-game road trip against the best team in the National Hockey League. I'm Canuck Clay. This is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Tuesday, January the 10th. If you're new, January the 11th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. And as always, this vlog is brought to you by Perform and Transform personal training and weight loss. Sign up now for a free seven-day trial using the link in my video descriptions. And by Van City Experts Real Estate Group, contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. This vlog is coming to you super late today. It's only half an hour to game time. I was actually off work today. I had to take my lovely wife, Gail, to a very important medical appointment. Kind of going through a couple things right now. I don't want to say too much here. I'm sure the story will come out soon. But uh, yeah, that's where I was. I wasn't at uh, work today. But um, therefore, I'm home, have one work meeting to do online, and then I can watch the rest of the game. A game, the only the Canucks' second game in this young 2022 year, and the first game of a five-game road trip. Probably the toughest road trip that I've ever seen them embark on. Not in terms of how many games, not in terms of where they're traveling to, although that has a lot to do with it. But really, they are going to play against five of the top six teams in the NHL in their next five games. And of course, standings will change as the days go on. But as of right now, Tuesday, January January the 11th, not January the 10th. Why do I have such a problem with that date? Tuesday, January the 11th, the next five opponents for the Canucks are five of the top six teams by way of points in the NHL. So let's break it down really quickly. Let's go big picture, then focus on today's game. Overall, the Canucks start tonight. Tuesday in Florida, playing against, by points, the number one team in the league, the Florida Panthers. Then on Thursday, they're playing against, by points, the second best team in the league, the Tampa Bay Lightning. They actually have 51 points, same with Florida, although Florida's only played 35 games, Tampa's played 37. So they get the first, the best team in the league tonight, then they move on to the second best team in the league on Thursday. Then on Saturday, Saturday morning for us, Saturday afternoon for all of them, they play in Carolina, who happen to be the third best team in the NHL with 50 points in 33 games. Then the day after that, not two days after that, there's no gap, back-to-back, -back, another morning for us, afternoon for them game, this time in Washington, who are the fifth best team in the league. And then they wind up this road trip playing in Nashville on Tuesday night, who are the sixth best team in the league. So in order, they're playing against the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth best teams in the league as of now in terms of points. The only team they're not playing against is the New York Rangers, who are fourth in the league right now. So obviously, you can see what I mean about this being such a tough road trip. It's going to be such a great test for this team, for Bruce Boudreaux and his team, who are 8-0-1. They have not lost in regulation under Bruce Boudreaux. You know he's fired up. You know Washington, one of his former teams, is part of this trip. You know that... The Canucks players are fired up. They should be ready to go. They should be relatively rested. Maybe fresh is a better way of saying it, having not played since January the 1st. Of course, they've been practicing. They had to travel. But this is their first game action since January 1st, since they beat the Seattle Kraken 5-2. to two. So first question to you, my friends. What's your prediction for their record on this road trip? Now, of course, as they fought their way back into playoff contention, you, you don't want them going 0-5 and coming out with zero points. That's, but I don't think they're going to do that. I also don't think they're going to win all five games and get 10 points. And that's a little unrealistic. So what is realistic? I think we'd be happy with four, five, six, seven points. We'd be ecstatic given how tough this is. I'm going right down the middle, two, two, and one. I think they're going to win two. I think they're going to lose two. And I think they're going to lose a third game, but that's going to be an extra time. And if I have to, if I have to, you know, really pick, I think they're going to win today against Florida. I think they're going to lose against Tampa. I think they're going to beat Carolina but then lose in Washington. No, other way around. I think they're going to lose in Carolina, then win in Washington, and then go to extra time and lose against Nashville. So for me, win-loss, loss-win, extra time loss. That means we come back 500 on this trip. Five points in five games. So leave in, in the comments below, let me know how you think they're going to do over the next five games. You can talk about which, if you want to break it down by game, which ones they're going to win and lose, but I'm more important, how, what's the record going to be after these five games and how many points are they going to get out of those five games? For tonight specifically, Florida, they got some really good offensive players, especially in Huberto, Barkov, and Duclair, their number one line. Huberto's been on fire. 
Um, he has he's in the top now near the top of the league in terms of points, and uh, he is just a, he's a wonderful player. And too bad because he would be a wonderful player for Team Canada if they played in the Olympics. So it's going to be a good test for the Canucks. Brujo has already said that the Florida Panthers love to get into track meets, and the Canucks can't. They have decent speed but they're not as fast as florida so they can't get into a run and gun game with them connects are still gonna have to have good timely offense yet solid if not spectacular defense and definitely outstanding goaltending from thatcher demko now i talked really quickly about uh about florida and especially i just want to look it up because i looked it up yesterday yeah huberto has 46 points in 35 games 46 in 35 and barkov is 25 in 22 so barkov hasn't played he's only played two-thirds of the season but he is also over a point per game so those are two really good players obviously for the florida panthers they got aaron ekblad who's a who's a stud on d and uh, yeah this is going to be a very very tricky game Hu- huberto is actually tied for fourth in scoring only behind mcdavid dry and ovechkin tied with nazem kadri so it's gonna be a very ch- uh, big challenge for the Canucks tonight, for sure. But give me a score prediction. I said that the Canucks would win this game. Um, so I'm going to go... I, I think it's going to be not as um, not as much scoring as people think. I'm so tempted to go 4-2 with my, my score that I love. But I'm going with 3-2 Canucks. I'm going with 3-2 Canucks. And I'm saying that Pedersen comes back from COVID and scores the first goal of the game. So Pedersen with the first goal for the Canucks. 3-2 Canucks win. That's my prediction for tonight. So leave a comment down below. Give me your score prediction for tonight. Give me your first Canucks goal score. And also give me a prediction for how they're going to do on this five-game road trip. If they play how they practice, we can expect to see lines of Miller, Besser, and Podkolzin as our top line. P.D. Pearson, Hoglander. Then Horvat, Dickinson, and Garland. Mott, Lamico, and Highmore. Then O.L. with Myers. Hugh Shen. Then Hunt with Pullman. That means Burroughs is an extra, and like someone like Chase Lons in there. Actually, I'm not sure Chase Lons even out of protocol, and Demko is starting in net. So that's how we're going to line up. That's how we're going to try and face the number one team in the NHL. Two last things. Bruce Boudreau, mic'd up video, loved it. So many cool things. The 45-second drill, making sure that Besser, Pedersen, and Dickinson can do uh, you know, one of those quick line skates and within 45 seconds to make sure that they are ready to go. Spoiler alert, they all passed, so they're all playing tonight. And I also love the way that he was talking to the PD at the end, encouraging him, affirming him, saying, you're the hardest working guy. Things are going to turn around for you. So that was kind of a cool thing to see. Finally, I usually don't stream on Tuesday nights, but I'll say this, I promise. If the Canucks win, I'm going to stream at 10 o'clock for 45 minutes because i got to get to my church by 11 o'clock. So if the Canucks win, I stream at 10 o'clock for 45 minutes. If they don't win, I don't stream. Because A, the streams do better when they win. And B, it's kind of a reward for either you or myself or however you want to think about it. If the Canucks win, I will stream tonight at 10 p.m. So there we go. Shout out to my legends. Legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, and legendary Andrew Chang. Hero members, Nux fan number 29, and Carol Bovenlander. Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Broomfield, Shannon Hollingworth, and HSM Fangirl Gaming. Thanks for your support as always. And thanks to the support of all members of all levels. You are listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or in my videos or the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you like to, like this video if you like to, become a member, upgrade if you like to, leave a comment down below if you like to. Score prediction, first Canucks goal scorer, how do the Canucks do on this five game road trip? Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I hope to see you at 10 p.m. tonight on a live stream if the Canucks win. Enjoy the game. God bless and go Canucks go.